I should have been watching her health. Ah, well. <laughs> okay, this is just a little bit of an example of... It may look like I'm steamrolling these things sometimes, but... The scaling is extremely high. Eo is, for all intents and purposes, a melee character, though she's more based on a mage. <laughs> so you can see what I mean by the difficulty if you actually played a melee character in this would be extremely high. Uh, I honestly was starting to think it was just that I was squishy, but... Nope, there you go. Uh, wouldn't call this a basic loss, but the soldier lost. Just two of them, and Neo is just gone. Before we continue, I'll go over to the statue and see what it's scaled to. I think it's eight, but I could be wrong. So there's me plus. I think six, and there should be a zero slot for your main ally. Come on. Come on, buddy screen. I know what a fireproof tonic is. I will never use them, ever. can't even remember general use buffs for those specific ones. Alright, this is a cruise statue, in case you're wondering, this is how you edit your allies. Oh, whoops. Okay, yeah, so there's seven slots for allies, and then you also have yourself. That's eh, not supposed to be there. I don't really remember what these are. You can see I said it's a normal new game, specifically because I know it's going to be scaled to 8. So, difficulty would be insane if I put new game plus. Yeah, maybe I'll do that later. We'll see. What is it? to be the third one. Hmm. I guess I'll probably go one, two, then the main Prometheus, then I'll go back and do this one for Kevin. Now nah, I'll finish Kevin's first. Scouts have finally discovered the Queen's location. We're sending them in under orders to track down and destroy any lost in the area. Destroy the lost? But how? We haven't even finished our training yet. You'll learn in the field, Revenant. Protect your heart and you will never die. Your sacrifice will help open a path to the future. Those hellish days went on and on, stealing to survive, to 
us, it was only natural. I was ordered to take blood beads from other kids, ones that were just like me. As long as they could get beads, they would live. Survival was more bead to bead than day to day. That was when Louis came along and reached out to me. No one had ever done that for me before. Go too long without blood, go frenzy, become lost. Die too much, lose yourself, forget about everything, become this lost. Is how our world is. I'm sure you've seen it yourself. There's no shortage of people who will exploit others to make their own lives easier. I have crossed blades with their miserable sword on more than one occasion while I was researching the blood beads. It was a small thing. I was certain that it would do some good. Dewey is a cinnamon roll. And Neo is trying to get me banned again. Come on, Neo, it's broad daylight out. Why are you sleeping? What is it? I don't remember what else she likes. Here, I'll give you this. Such a striking color. I wonder which nation it represents. The world outside is filled with oddities, isn't it? I know a good spot for this. There, now no one can say I'm bullying her for waking her up over and over. <laughs> Next message. Keep bringing, bringing blood beads to some, some random, random kid, kid like, me. like me. There isn't really a particular reason. If I had to give one, I'd say it's because you were alive when I met you. That's. Don't keep, Don't keep risking, risking your life for me, Louis. You can't. You don't need to worry, need to worry about, about me, me. Really. really. Focus, Focus on keeping yourself alive, alive and well. well. Louis. kept bringing me blood beads, which spared me from the constant struggle other revenants faced over them. There was no fear of being turned to ash or becoming one of the lost. I had blood beads, and that meant I had peace for myself. It was all mine. But was that really okay? Shortage must be hitting you too. Here, take them. They're yours. Don't worry about me. Being the only survivor would be boring anyway. And, you know, we rely on each other to survive, right? That's what people do. Crazy kid that's been passing out blood beads, aren't you? Maybe. What if I am? If you've got so many lying around, then how about you pass some along to us? After all, we've been hurting since one of our kids turned lost. 
I don't have that many. Even if I did, I wouldn't give a single beat to bastards like you. You stupid punk. In that case, we'll just take it by force. Too cruel for cinnamon rolls. He was sharing the blood beads I gave him with some of the other revenants. He wasn't stupid. He had to have known what would happen if he did something like that. What is it? Okay, like I mentioned before, I'm gonna go with this one next and then go back and do this. This one's on the side story. This one is the main story we were looking at here. On second thought, this one's Hunter 4, so I should have just went down the list. Ah well. I stand by it. This is the one that has to do with Louie. And that completes their little side story, at least as far as Louis is concerned. As you probably heard, there is one little thing with Coco. It's just, just a side story mainly. That was Kevin. You, you wanted to. sense of dedication before you can truly say you've saved someone. It's just self-deception to feel like you've helped after giving no more than handouts. But at the same time, I'd be a coward if I only sat back and watched while doing nothing. Even if I'm deceiving myself, I have to keep fighting. And if I fail to help, I'll face up to what I've done. But I also won't let that stop me from trying to help others. That's what I've decided. I couldn't save Cruz. Even when she begged for my help, I wasn't strong enough to do what was necessary. Now, this is all I can do for her. And the world. It doesn't change what happened. Or the fact that I'm responsible for Kevin's death. However, I appreciate you sharing his memories with me. 